Okay, I'd like to talk about a condensate pump. It's a new style. I uh, referred one to one friend and I installed one myself. I'm about to install another one. I took the liberty of taking it apart in advance to explain how it all works. The base of it uh, is built into chambers and the chambers separate this medium and the medium is going to um, it's going to change the pH value of the condensate from a high efficiency boiler or furnace. This is the pump itself. It just drops right into this. Snaps right in there. Easy. This here we're going to open up, fill into these chambers, and we're going to put this cover on. And the cover just snaps on. The reason I like it so much is it has the availability to feed the inlet from the condensing furnace or boiler into the side. That's very important if you're installing into a furnace where it has to set low on the ground because you can just come up with a short 90 and feed right into that. Or in this case, we're installing a high efficiency boiler. We're going to take out this piece of paper and we're going to dump it into that. We're going to glue this plug into the side here. Now, one of the advantages of this pump also is not only do we, be able, we can view the neutralizer on the right side, but on top and the left side, there'll be no neutralizer pellets. And that'll where you drop the condensate from an air conditioning system. And there's two holes for that. And the other nice thing about this is it has this uh, check valve like all the condensate pumps do. But this one here, you can just take a wrench and it pops right out. So you can replace it uh, or clean it out if you ever had an issue with it. It has uh, two switches inside. One works with the float mechanism. The second one is for these two wires. And these wires are for an alarm or if you wanted to shut off the blower on a... Con on a uh, air conditioning system because of the pump failed. This here would be able to break the switch for that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just like any other one, 115 volts. It's very nice. I just like the fact so much that it's the only one I found where you can put the neutralizing pellets in the right side of the pump. When I'm all done and start taking out the oil fired boiler, putting in the gas boiler, I'll take another picture of it installed and include it in the video. Uh, they, the manufacturer, the people who sell this product, I've dealt with them on the phone. They're extremely professional. It's a small business, a small family business, um, and they stand behind their product. Thank you.